how to create video backgrounds for free and put them into your video no stress with ai yes so this background you see right here is actually fake i just generated this studio for myself so i can use it for my content and then i'm putting this studio into my videos adding it into all my videos so you don't need to cry anymore that you don't have money you don't need to you don't have money to fix your small space oh your background is not good i don't know how to create videos no I got you because anywhere you create your videos, you can actually switch the background anytime and upload your videos with peace and beauty backgrounds. Hi, my name is Wokobuchi. On social media, I teach you how to monetize your social media platforms, how to edit videos, how to work with AI, and how to grow. Now, today I'll be teaching you how to actually use this AI tool to create beautiful backgrounds, beautiful studio backgrounds. Like you don't just need to create random backgrounds, but you create beautiful studio backgrounds for your uh, niche or with your name. Yes, you can create video backgrounds. You can create backgrounds with your name and input them into your videos and make them look beautiful. So that's what I'll be teaching you today. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to share, and don't forget to comment in the comment section the next AI tool you want me to teach you, because why not? It's AI my thing, okay? So let's go, let me teach you how to create these videos. So the first thing to do is to go to Leonardo AI. I'll advise you all go to Leonardo AI. This is my Leonardo AI. I'll click on Leonardo AI. And once you click on Leonardo AI, you have a face like this. Please try to register on this app. I'm already signed in. I registered already. So this is what you do. You sign in first. And once you sign in, you have this interface. You can sign in with your email, uh, Gmail, whatever you want to. Now you click on new, create, uh, create new. Okay. Up here where it says create new, you see there. Now this is how it will be. Okay. This is how it will look like. Now where they say prompt, let's prompt and get our studio. Okay. Let's prompt and get our studio. So, um, create me, create me a YouTube home studio, home studio for video, video recording. Okay. For video recording. Okay. Make it have cheers cheers background background flowers background flowers um uh a tv screen a tv screen with the logo with the youtube logo with the youtube logo with the YouTube logo and some cameras, some cameras and tripod. Yeah, with some cameras and tripod. Okay. Uh, background name. I'll put my name. I'll put my name Wokobuchi. Okay, so let's see. Once you create, once you have this, I'll go to creative, select what you want. I think I'll choose cinematic. Okay, this, the model of the for the the screen. I want a cinematic. Then I'll go to choose my aspect ratio to sixteen point nine, which is the YouTube aspect ratio. If you're creating your background for TikTok, you can use the TikTok aspect ratio. So once you click this, we'll generate like three to four different images and have a switch. So I'll copy this first i'll copy this so i can use it later okay now i have this yeah i'll click on done then i click on generate now let's wait and see what we have <clears throat> excuse me let's wait and see sorry i sipped my coffee let's wait and see what we have okay you see this this is a good one for me i like this one and my name comes out so perfect wokobushi so this is a studio. First off, I'll download this one. I'll save this. Okay. Now we go back to create again. I'll take out the flat, the background flower. Sorry. Okay. Let's just let's just take out this and put it back. And then I will take out the background flower. Okay. The background name. Background name YouTube. YouTube Studio. Okay. 
uh let me see let me see let me see and here i'll try to add in some led lights yeah because i want it light so create me a youtube home studio for video recording with cheers uh led lights okay let's go with cheer led lights okay let's add in let led lights mm -hmm. led light okay all right so and then we have um this let's create another one let's go for other one again generate so i'm trying to generate like four different ones so you see yeah you get to see please this is very important for your channel don't ever feel like you cannot create content because your channel background is crazy or is whack no we have ways around everything so do you see this i love this this is super good this is perfect it stands on very nice okay this is a good one i think you do video here it's super clean so let's save this again we'll save this and i'll try to create and generate so let's see how the verse come out oh my god i didn't spell the verse well <laughs> let's wait and see what we get oh okay super you see that super i like this and the big green tree comes out well so we have this this is perfect okay this one is good so now i'll show you how you actually go to how you can input these images into your videos how you can input this into your videos and change your video backgrounds like this okay so I so let's head over to CapCut. this is CapCut. okay so this is CapCut. you come to CapCut, you have new projects once you click on new project up here it will take you to your gallery now, once you take you to your gallery, you choose your studio, okay? We have different studios. I'll just choose them randomly because I will be adding all these studios into my videos because I want them to be stylish like this, okay? Yeah, so this is what I'll do. Now, you have these studios ready, okay? You can increase them. Just drag them down. If you have just one, if you're using just one, okay? Now, since you have just one and your video is maybe... 15 minutes long or 10 minutes long, hold this one and drag it down. You see how I'm dragging it down and seconds are counting there? Yes, you can see there 15 seconds, one minute already. Drag till the number of minutes that your video is, which means this background will be able to cover up the whole of your video. Okay? Yes, it will be able to cover up. Let me just show, let, let's just, let's just do for one and then I do you how to input the second one. So, Let's do just one video first. Just one background first. Yeah, I've deleted the other ones. That's it. So we have just this one, okay? And my video is like one minute plus long. Now I'll bring in my video. I'll click on overlay. I'll click on overlay and I bring in my video. So I'll go to videos and I take in my video. So this is my video. You can see my video already have a background, okay? I'll resize my video to the main, to fill the screen. Once I resize my video to fill the screen, like so... I'll come down here and I look for background remover, BG, BG remover, okay? Now I'll click on auto remover. Automatically, it removes my background. Now, once you remove my background, I have this, okay? Let's, let's see. Make sure your video starts the same place your background starts, so you just measure it. Now I have this. I'll mute this. How to I have this. video background? Let me mute my video itself, sorry. Okay, so we have this now. Do you see how smooth that is? Who is going to know? No, nobody is going to know. Now, let's get to the end of the video and see. Now, like this, you see the background is dark because the background video is not there. The, the studio is not there. So, I'll drag it till the end of my video like this. Okay? Now, if you want to input different backgrounds into your videos, let's drag this background right to the top. Let's drag this background right to the top. Okay? And put it where we want it to be. So, uh, we have this. Let's drag it again. Okay. Now, we have the first background like this. This is the first background. Now, you click on the plus here. You take in the second background. Okay. You bring in the second background. So, let's say you're talking. You talk like this. And boom, the next one pops up. Just to keep people interested in your page. You click. You add the second one. Like that. If you want, 
you make it, you drag it for it to stay for like 10, uh, 10 seconds or for like a few seconds before it goes up. And then you click the plus again, you bring up another one. So like this, you can add in all your studios into your videos, all your studios into your videos like that. Okay. So I'll click and add the last one now. So this is the last one. I love this particular one. I don't know why, but it's so nice. So you add in this. At the end of the day, you have like this. This is how your video pops up when you're talking. You see that studio change. And then we go to the next studio. This one change. And then we go to the next. This one change. Now, I'll advise you if you're a newbie and you're trying to do this, please try as much as possible to stand on a plain background when you're recording your video. Okay. If you can see, if you can look carefully behind me, you see my wrap, my uh, wrap, my uh, cover that was on the chair. It's kind of under my hand there. If you can see, you see that, you see that small flip. So if you don't want any of these glitches, any of these glitches, please, when you're recording your video, make sure you stay on a plain background, make sure you stay on a plain background or just somewhere empty. And if they have tables or chairs or something, make sure you're not close to those tables or those chairs. Because if you're close to them, when you want to take out the background, you need to do the, you will not do the auto remover, but you do the option where you use your fingers to actually carve yourself out and the background disappears, right? When I mean that mode, I mean like this, because some people see, ask me uh, what that is. So when you want to remove background, you click on custom remover. You see that? Which means you map yourself out without any of this, without any of this, um, any of these things. So you map yourself out and take out yourself and like this, using your fingers carefully. But I don't like using this because once you just mess up, you bring in a part of this pallor or a part of your chair inside. So I used to prefer the auto remover, you know, and do what I want to do you get so this is my advice for you and this is how you can actually create your background and have beautiful beautiful videos without anybody even understanding oh this girl did not do this this person did not do this so yeah guys once you're done export your video and you're good to go yeah yes what did i say export your video and you're good to go don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share and don't forget to comment in the comment section the next ai tool you want me to teach you and i'll do just that Bye, guys. Thank you very much for watching.